I'm very new to John's ideas. They've been around in my thinking and reading for only about three years. Um, so this is, this is very new stuff for me. Um, the piece I'm going to read um, was written for myself, not for other people, um, but was written after Gail asked us to um, suggest some uh, quotes that we've been inspired by. And it's about witness and aboutness. So I'm standing on the underground, coffee in one hand and getting it in the other. The book is in a shocking state. It's thumbed and scribbled. There's stickies everywhere. I think the state is a reflection of my struggle, my desire to understand what this man is saying to me. And suddenly I do get something. I quote, Although life might be a mystery to us, rather than a problem to be solved, this does not mean that we cannot gain a skill at, so to speak, finding out a way about in it. I'm moving and I'm moved. I have a momentary glimpse of what this relationally responsive way of being and researching in the world might look like. But as soon as I hold it, as soon as the thought crystallises, it flutters off as if it had escaped when the tube doors opened. I turn to the person next to me. Can I tell them? Can I, can I share this fizzy-making flash that makes my heart race of getting it? But words won't be, can't be sufficient. So I catch the fellow passenger's eye, slightly turn my body to make a bit of space for them, and then notice that they turn their body to make a bit of space for the person next to them. And so it goes on through the tube carriage. My getting it momentarily seems to set off some kind of responsive relationship for all these people standing on this tube. <laughs> so I need to talk about John Shotter. There are so many ideas that I need to talk about and that need to be talked about. But these ideas also need to be lived with, lived in, talked into, carried in and onwards.